Hello everyone and welcome to some more jam-packed information about Fall Guys Season 2. We have a lot of exciting things to talk about, but before getting into the leaks, I want to announce that Season 2 officially comes out this Thursday on October 8th. So we will soon see all of this in action. Double Fame is also active now in Fall Guys until the new season launches to help players finish up their season passes to get all those juicy rewards that will be going away soon. And remember to like and subscribe for more Fall Guys content, news, and leaks. And comment below on what you are most excited for in Season 2. Now let's take a look at what's coming. First, we gotta look at the new map Night Fever, since Fall Guys did an exclusive with IGN. Night Fever is this obstacle course that we have seen a few screenshots of and the concept art for. Now we get an up close and personal look at the course. So players will start by racing their way up a ramp with axes swinging side to side. And you must be careful because the ramp has holes in it. After that you are met with the spiky logs. Now, when I first saw these logs, I thought the entire log would move, but that is not the case. Only the spikes on the log move, making this a lot harder to navigate, because you will have to predict each line of spikes moving across the log as you cross the log. Then after the spiked log, you are met with the downhill slime ramp with swinging axes. This will probably be easier to navigate just because it is downhill. As long as you don't stay close to the edges, you should be fine. After that, we are met with a bridge that has the thick bonkus will bonk players off the sides of the bridge. And the bridge also has holes in it for added danger, making it a perilous journey. From the video, it looks like the first bonkus boy moves slower than the second, and the second moves super fast. So uh, good luck with that! If you do manage to get past this, then the final obstacle are some drawbridges that consistently move up and down, so you should be able to time this easily. Comment below what you think of a night fever, and if you would like to see me make a guide for it as soon as season 2 drops. The course looks very exciting, and I can just already imagine all the BM that's going to happen because there's so much grab potential on this obstacle course. But uh, let's not talk about that, let's get on with the other leaks. Next we have a leak that confirms all maps are staying in Season 2. We see that the players are given an option to select their shows, and also a party size is shown for each show represented by this 1-4 through four picture, indicating that maybe some shows in the future could have a higher party size. And also from this, we can guess that the main show is going to be all the original maps. The Medieval Madness is going to be the new Season 2 maps. And then who knows what the Gauntlet Showdown has in store. It could be a mix of Season 1 and Season 2 maps. We do see DoorDash in the Gauntlet Showdown picture. So maybe that is a bunch of single player minigames or elimination based minigames. For the main show and Medieval Madness, we see Slime Climb in both, meaning that some of the original games may be in the Medieval Madness show with just a medieval theme to them. It's already obvious that Slime Climb is in Medieval Madness with medieval themed obstacles instead of the original course's obstacles. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. We also got some more footage of the new maps in Season 2. Egg Scramble is definitely having a much larger basket, as you see here, this wizard chucks an egg over a large red wall. So it will definitely be more difficult to steal eggs from other teams. We also know that the new Egg Scramble will be called Egg Siege, as this is the loading screen for Egg Siege. So I wonder if Hoopsie Daisy will be the Hoopsie Gauntlet or something medieval sounding. Let me know what your ideas are for the medieval Hoopsie Daisy game. And while we are on this subject, I want to give a shout out to FizzyBang749 Gaming for pointing out that one of the pictures leaked of the new Hoopsie Daisy game shows that it is not team based because no one in the picture has team colors. And the footage that they 
released of season two in the Stumble Chums, also reinforces the fact that the new Hoopsie Daisy game is not team based because nobody in here has team colors and when people jump through hoops it's kind of like this white poof instead of any team color poof. So does this mean they totally scrapped the idea of Hoopsie Daisy as a team based game? Because in the very first preview of season 2 the Hoopsie Daisy they showed us was team-based. Or does this mean that there will be a team-based version of Hoopsie Daisy and a solo-based version of Hoopsie Daisy? I highly doubt they would have two versions of the same minigame though, so I'm pretty sure this means that the new Hoopsie Daisy is definitely going to be the solo one. But the only question I have here is, how is it going to show your progress compared to everybody else's progress? Like, there's no way to know if you're in last place, really, if it doesn't tell you, right? Let me know what you think about a solo version of Hoopsie Daisy. And finally, in regards to maps, we know the name of this minigame here, where you have to move blocks to get over walls, is called Wall Guys. It makes a lot of sense now that you think of it. And Fall Guys does a really good job at making simple names that define the minigames perfectly. Next, we have a brand new customization option called Interface when you go in the Customizer. Here you can choose a new banner to represent your name. Now, will these banners be seen when you win the crown is my question. I think they will because what else would the point be to having a banner if other people couldn't see it? And I think possibly you may see the banner on the loading screens as well, and maybe during the game. This banner must be highly visible somewhere for them to make an entire customization category for it. You also notice another new option, which is the nickname option where you can give your fall guy a nickname. And it is shown to us that this nickname appears under your fall guy's number on the banner. But I assume in-game, the nickname will be the one above your head during minigames and not the number. However, since they do leave the fact in here that the Fall Guys number is on top and the nickname is on bottom, does indicate that it is possible we will get custom names back sometime. But having the nickname feature does also mean that getting our own custom names is still a long way off. Since some people decided that they had to ruin it for everybody else by abusing their names. Who knows if we will even ever have a choice to pick our own names again. They could even just have some pre-approved names and nicknames for us to choose from. Now in the video that Oliver made showing off all of these nicknames, he mentions awarding nicknames to specific players for doing something awesome in the community as just one example. So this means that nicknames could have some value where you can only unlock a nickname in a specific and unique way. And so by equipping that nickname, you are showing off to other people that you have achieved something that few other people have. I can imagine even specific nicknames awarded to people who've won some kind of Fall Guys tournament as well just to show off the winners, or even participation nicknames for people who have participated in tournaments. Let me know what you think of this. Next we have another new feature in Season 2, which is the random outfit option, which lets the game choose your costume for you. In this new video, we saw several faceplates added into the game for our Fall Guys and also some new costumes. We see the bottom of a knight costume with epic bad bot faceplate. Bottom of a joker costume with epic maroon faceplate. A new astronaut top hiding a new pattern. A recolored pirate top and new pattern. A new owl top and rare faceplate shock, plus new caveman bottom. A recolored female viking. A super secret censored cosmetic. A recolored burger top with a medieval pattern. Another medieval pattern with a legendary faceplate, but the name is blocked. 
a recolored wizard, a recolored soda bottom, another night bottom, an uncommon to be determined faceplate, which most likely will be renamed when season 2 goes live, and a new beanbot uncommon faceplate. Let me know what you think about all these new cosmetics coming, but I'm glad to see that they have a lot more diverse faceplate options here because that was the one thing that kind of seemed a little lackluster to me in the cosmetic department. After that, we got a leak a while ago that shows that when you are in a party, everybody can see each other falling together. So now you don't feel like you're falling solo anymore when you're queuing up with a group. This is a very minor change, but I think it's still pretty cool and it's something that people will enjoy even though it is just a tiny thing. And finally, we have the new home screen here for Fall Guys Season 2 as well as the loading image when you start up the game. So those are all the leaks that I have for you guys. I hope you found this video informative and are excited for Season 2. It is coming out on October 8th, so very soon now, and I just can't wait to start playing it. Let me know your thoughts about Season 2 and all these new features. Do you like them? Do you hate them? Do you wish they did something different? And also, your thoughts about the new courses and whether or not you would like to see a guide or gameplay on them when Season 2 releases. Remember to like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more Fall Guys content. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, good luck grabbing your own crowns, and see ya next time!